In this lesson, we're going to look at arcs and sectors. We're going to identify arcs and sectors, find the length of an arc, and find the area of a sector. Let's start with identifying the arc of a sector. This just represents a portion of the circumference of the circle. The sector of a circle represents a portion of the area, so you look at it as a portion of the surface of the circle. One of the most common examples of that is going to be a slice of a pizza or a slice of an apple pie or cheesecake. The length of an arc is expressed as the fractional part of the circumference of the circle. So you can see here 2 pi times r is going to be the circumference of the circle and then the theta here is the angle that is formed by the arc divided by 360 or divided by 2 pi radians and then for diameter you have the formula here as well and you have r is the radius d is the diameter and theta or this this symbol right here represents the angle formed at the center of the circle Let's look at some examples here. We're going to we're going to look at using the degree angle and the radian angle as well. So let's start with the degree angle. So C is going to be 2 pi r. That's the circumference of a circle. But the length of an arc is going to be 2 pi r times the angle divided by 360. And we're going to leave our answers with pi in them. So we have 2 times pi times r is 14. And then our angle is 60 divided by 360. So let's cross this out. We have 6. Cross this out here. We have 1 here and then we have 3. So what we now end up with is 14 pi over 3 centimeters. Now for the radians, we're going to first convert 60 degrees to radians. So let's do that first. We have 360 degrees equal to 2 pi radians. And 1 degree is 2 pi radians over 360 degrees so 60 degrees is going to be 2 pi radians over 360 degrees times 60 degrees so we cross this out we have 6 right here and then we have 3 so this is going to be pi radians, pi over 3 radians. Now, our length of an arc is going to be 2 pi r times theta over 2 pi. So, let's do this. So, it's going to be, let's actually simplify this. So, we have 2 pi here and then we have 2 pi, so we cancel that. So this is going to be r times theta, which is going to be, what is r? r is 14, theta is pi over 3. So this is going to give us 14 pi over 3 centimeters. We get the same result. Let's apply the same thing here. Our circumference generally is 2 pi r, and the length of an arc is a part of the circumference. So we have 2 pi r times theta over 360, which is going to give us 2 pi times 21 times 105 divided by 360. So let's get at this. This is going to give us. 7, we divide by 15, and then we divide by 15 here, we have 24, 
we divide by 2, we get 12, we divide by 2 here, we get, it crosses out, and then we divide by 3, we have 7, we divide by 3, we have 4. So we have 7 times 7 times pi over 4, which is going to give us 49 over 4 pi. Now we're going to express the same thing in radians. So first thing we're going to do is convert 105 degrees to radians. So 360 degrees is equal to 2 pi radians. 1 degree is 2 pi radians over 360 degrees. Over 360. And then 105 degrees is going to be 2 pi radians over 360 multiplied by 105. So let's divide this through. We have 7 and we have 24. We have 1 and then we have 12. So it's going to be 7 pi over 12 radians. Now the length of our arc is 2 pi times radius multiplied by theta over 2 pi. So 2 pi crosses out. So we have r times theta. And then we now substitute. r is 21. Theta is 7 pi over 12. So we divide through here. 21 divided by 3, 4. 21, sorry, 12 divided by 3, 4. 21 divided by 3, 7. 7 times 7, 49 pi over 4. We get the same result. The unit is in centimeters. Now let's take a look at the area of a sector. Remember that a sector is like a slice of pizza. It's a portion of the area of the circle. So... So we have pi r squared multiplied by the fractional part of the angle, the fraction, the angle that represents the fraction of the circle. So let's look at some examples here. For these examples as well, we will display the answers in radians using the angles in radians and in degrees. So area is pi r squared. So Let's call AS as the area of a sector. is going to be pi r squared times theta over 360. So this is going to give us pi times 14 squared times 60 over 360. So let's divide this through. It's 1 over 6. So it's going to be 196 pi over 6, which is... 98 pi over 3. Now, the first thing we're going to do is convert 60 degrees to its equivalent in radians. So, 360 degrees is equal to 2 pi radians. 1 degree is 2 pi radians over 360. And then 60 degrees is going to be 2 pi radians over 360 times 60. So we cross this out. We have 6. This is going to give us pi over 3. Now, the area of a, of a sector here, let's call this AS, is going to be pi r squared times theta over 2 pi. So this pi crosses out, so we end up with r squared theta over 2. So which is going to give us 14 squared times theta is going to be pi over 3 divided by 2. So this is 196 pi over 3 times 1 over 2. 
which is 196 pi over 6, which is going to give us 98 pi over 3, and the unit is square centimeters. Finally, let's look at this. Area of a sector is pi r squared times the fraction of the angle that is represented, which is going to give you pi times 21 squared times 105 over 360. So let's simplify this. We have divided by 15, 7. Here we have 24. So this is going to give us 441 pi times 7 over 24. We here we divide by 3, we get 8. We divide by 3 here, we get 147. So this is going to give us 147 times 7 times pi over 8. 147 multiplied by 7, we get 9. 4 times 7, 28 plus 4, 32. 1 times 7, 7 plus 3, 10. So this is going to give us 1029 pi over 8. Okay, we're going to apply the same thing in radians. So let's convert to radians. 360 degrees is 2 pi radians. And then 1 degree is 2 pi radians over 360. And then 105 degrees is 2 pi radians over 360 times 105. So we divide through, we get 7, we get 24 here, 1, we get 12. So we got pi over 12, 7 pi over 12 radians. So the area of a sector, let's call it AS, is going to be pi r squared multiplied by theta over 2 pi. So this pi crosses out pi, which is going to be r squared theta over 2. So now let's apply it here. A, we have a sector is r squared is 21 squared times theta, which is 7 pi over 12, then over 2. The whole thing divided by 2 which is 441 times 7 pi over 12 times 2. This crosses out, we have 4. Here we have 147. So 147 times 7 is 1029. So 1029 pi, 4 times 2, 8. And we have square centimeters. So this covers everything you need to know about finding the area of a sector and the length of an arc.